So we're doing this a little out of order, but uh, just showing a, a bathroom break. You'll usually want to do this before you go inside any kind of public place, good boy. <laughs> um, so that way, especially since he's a marker, or if you want to make sure that he's, you know, done his, all of his business as much as possible before going into an enclosed public space or any kind of public space too, will help. Good boy. <laughs> Come on. Just wanted to take advantage of it because uh when we first got here it was it was pouring out luckily we had went and did a bathroom run in the neighborhood while we were doing warm-ups before we headed out for the social session um, but then it just literally started pouring as soon as we got into the car to get here so we went from straight good boy we went straight from the car to the store but uh trying to take give him a little bit of a break now again um that i saw that it stopped suddenly just walking around it's been very on and off today it's pretty gray out but right now it's actually completely stopped so that's really good giving them some free time boy so sometimes too outside of excitement and wanting to mark things good boy oh good job yeah um, just kind of seems to come naturally to them luckily it didn't take too much discouraging when uh, he went into the room or into you know the the room of our new place uh, just a couple corrections and then taking him back outside before he was like oh I can't do that in here because unlike potty training it's not like he he needs to pee it's more like he wants to mark this area than anything else uh, so it wasn't too bad for him oh I know but good boy you're doing so good um, just getting him used to getting treats periodically for paying attention has been working out really well as opposed to like always asking for it right um, and then also using the the leash pressure good boy to signal to him as opposed to always telling him to come back and whatnot you see there his nose will get him in trouble too we're gonna let these other cars go first. Then we'll pass over. Wait. Boy. We'll head back through. All right. So one of the things we wanna to try to work on is when his nose is down or when he does see somebody to quickly redirect him back into us. It's very good and easy to practice, like uh, by entrances, because people will be coming and going a lot. Right? Oh, look at that! Hi, good boy. And so all we've done is, uh, when he sees somebody, getting him to come back to us, and then sit and wait for a treat. Right? It just helps with hi, bagel. Come here, bud. Good boy. It just helps with his impulse control. If we just get him to redirect early, good boy. Uh, for a reward and then kind of check back out into the person in that amount of time it should you know give you enough time to see if they would like to meet him which is generally going to be pretty obvious or if maybe they are afraid of dogs or allergic or just don't like dogs we just always want to try to make it so he checks in with us first good boy um as opposed to just going off and you know meeting somebody and investigating on it on his own with his nose. So 
So we're gonna do a little bit of both just uh, more loose leash work and then a little bit on and off of the heel work and the sit stays. Part of the reason why I want him to actually be able to explore while he's out socializing is so that he can get used to different environments, right? Um, as opposed to always just having to focus in on us. It'd be good for his character development. Oh. <laughs> the other pup just saw him. Bagel. So here, right, when he gets into his nose so much that he just starts to pull towards it, just reset him a little bit. Good boy. Yes. Right. that's going to obviously be our biggest hurdle is his nose right so getting him to be able to turn it on and off on command is going to be important Just having it on right now letting him smell good boy go back again so letting him smell when the leash is nice and loose right he doesn't get to when he's pulling towards things he has to kind of resettle back in and being consistent on behaviors like that is what helps us to to help disrupt it, right? So here, he's at the end of the lead. He has to stop pulling. Good boy. He's loose. He's able to track. Name, name practice, bagel. Good boy. Sit. Yes. And free. Right. Leash pressure. Yes. Good boy, almost. He's, he's getting heavily distracted by the environment, which is going to be, you know, understandable. All right, good boy. Okay, free. All right. I want him free as much as possible without him pulling. Good boy, there you go. So I'm going to try to get him to smell things that are close by, right? So if it's outside of our circle and he feels that leash pressure, he has to stop. He has to redirect his focus. If it's within our circle, good boy, wait, then he's able to kind of explore and smell, good boy. I like to do these weight exercises because it forces his focus on us for an extended period of time. And it's kind of realistic. You can pretend like you're shopping for um, brackets, I guess, or whatever else, right? It's, it's good real world practice when you're out working with a pup, good boy. All right, let's go. All right, so back to loose. He's using his nose. He's allowed to smell and explore. I'm gonna use some leash pressure here to guide him through this. Yes, good boy. Very good, good boy. Right? We want him to not be paying attention until we want him to pay attention. It's the important thing. I don't want him to always have to stare at me, right? And I don't always want to have to stare at him. But if for whatever reason he gets really interested in something and starts pulling, I need him to redirect his focus back onto me. Good boy. Okay, free. Free. Okay. So, still working on that. Free. Good boy. This is a good place because there's tons of different smells. There's lots of different sounds. And you got some people as well. Sometimes other pups too, just because it is good boy. It is a very dog friendly place. All right, so getting a little head. Good boy. Reset up here. Good boy. Here. Good. Here. Good boy, good focus. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn here. Good. Easy. Easy. Good boy. Wait. Gonna check out um boards, I guess. 
I don't know. <laughs> Just trying to do a, a second actual video run of this all the way through so that way you can see, you know, kind of what we do unedited. He did pretty good the first time around. I think also because it's pretty quiet right now, right? We, there's some people, but it's not like a, a Saturday morning or anything like that. It's a Saturday rainy afternoon. Most of the time, people with like home improvement projects will be here in the mornings on nice weather, or um, people with companies and stuff will be here early in the mornings too. They got a kid there, so that's good. Okay, nice loose leash. Okay. Tighten it up a little bit. There you go. Boy. Hi, how you doing? Good. So we just had some people walking by, so I just wanted to make sure to get his attention first. Good boy. Okay. Oh, we got some more. Come. Wait. Hi, how you doing? Yes, good. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for him to look at somebody and then just look right back at me right away. Good boy. It's always easier if you get his attention first, right? Because he's going to be calmer and more focused as opposed to him already kind of exploring, right? I know he wants to say hi. Bagel, wait. Yeah. Bagel, wait. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, big guy. Good boy. Oh, he likes you. Oh, go watch. You make a bellow inside the store? <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd probably be pretty loud, though. Good boy, sit. Oh, that would yes. be cool. Make them, make them, make them. Tease them, tease them. I want to hear them. They sound so great. You hear them Maybe it's like he... They'll chase off fox. I had this one. My neighbor has one. And that dog got out of the backyard. <laughs> Good boy. Just the Good fox job. And it's, just gone. it's over They're here. surprisingly they, they loud. Bellow, yeah. They bellow and let you know that the fox, they just, they don't go up to the fox. They stay a good quarter away. That's but they just follow it. They follow it all over. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. Sorry if you can't get him to go. If he like saw another pup and wanted to like uh, greet him, and then we had him stay. You're his master. Right. Treats, right. Right. Like, watch. Just take the treat and tease him. Watch. Oh. Let's see. I'm old school. Watch. And tease him. Here, I'll let you do. Do you want this? <laughs> that way, bud. What's his name? This is Bagel. Bagel. Oh, good boy. Speak. Speak. <laughs> Speak. Speak. He's like, I know to lay down oh, for treats. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Like, what kind of crazy person is this? Right? Oh, He's oh. like, I'm, I'm being nice. Ooh. There you go. Good boy. He's too conditioned to yeah. not talk, I think. <laughs> Oh, good boy. He'll, like I said, he'll do it if there's like another dog that he wants to meet, but right, he can't, right, right. you know, he has to be patient. Oh yeah, so he's struggling to go to the... Yeah. But for treats, he's learned to like calm down or stay low. Expensive, this dog, right? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> from, don't tell me you got him from the Oh no, I'm training him for his owners. Nope. But oh, I... oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry. Good, well, this is a good place. Another person with bringing in. Good boy. There you go. Good job. Uh, military, and they're training them not to be mean. And... There you go. It was a solid black uh, German Shepherd. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, that's, that's pretty. That's the one. Yeah, yeah it's a... says, please, yeah. Says don't watch. Yeah. yeah. She has to watch her her, her protective distance. As the dog sometimes, <laughs> I'm not saying Different. not with her, she's the trainer. Yeah, he's got the opposite problem. We're trying to work on him not just immediately going to somebody. Like, he'll redirect right afterwards, but we want him to redirect beforehand. But he, you know, he'll get it with some, with some extra practice. Good boy. Is that a training instrument? Oh no, this is just a camera. 
Oh, a camera. Yeah, I'm recording the session so that way his family can see because they're out on vacation. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I never saw a GoPro stick. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you, guys. Right, you ready to go, bud? <laughs> oh, bless you. Bagel, yeah. <laughs> Bagel the beagle. <laughs> Bagel the beagle. <laughs> Oh, hold on. All right. So we're letting him go and explore again. That was a really good interaction. But you can see what I mean. Uh, we're still, tr you know, in the beginning stages of it. And we're going to be kind of focusing on that a lot more heavily this coming week. But he understands to check in. But he uh, still has to get over that impulse part. So we might do like a a beep to remind him to check in first or some leash pressure right um but it's uh it's a little out of order and he still has that impulse control to work on but some of the training and some of the st stability and obedience is definitely still there he'll still check in but it's after he's kind of calmed down a little bit we need him to do it like immediately at first right so what we'll do when we're going up to people and you see somebody right Bagel. Good boy. There we go. All right. So he'll do it when prompted, which is understandable, but it'd be good for him to actually do it on his own first. <laughs> but hopefully with continued practice, especially in this kind of environment, right? If he sees somebody, he wants to go towards them. We interrupt by, uh, saying his name or recalling him or doing some leash pressure. He'll get it to the point where he sees somebody and instead of going right away to them, good boy. There we go, good boy. So there's a couple ladies there. Good job. He sits and waits, right? Good job. Bagel. Good. Here? 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 Uh uh. Here? Good boy. Very good. Right? So, forcing that heel when he's really interested in other people and close to him. Good boy. And then releasing him again. Right? boy good job trying to keep him on a loose leash gotta be careful of all the corners and any plants and things like that this was actually better than the uh the first time that we're in here because of the uh the interactions with those guys too this is really good leash pressure yes good boy into a heel here Good boy. And then here until we release. Here. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Yes. Keep going. Good boy. We're up to like five now, uh, which was, I think, three from the last video. Good boy. Turning two. Yes. Turning in. Yes. <laughs> Good boy. All right. And this is still with all like the distractions and stuff. Free. Leash pressure. You see somebody? Good boy. Yes, that's very good. So that was good. You saw somebody and just check back in. Very good. We're definitely going to reward that. Good. But like I said, it seems like a lot of treats right now, but it's just because we're really trying to quickly condition certain behaviors for him. So outside of marking, I want to give him a treat because it also extends that focus that he has. So starting to pull. Yes. Good boy. Here. Good. All right. Going to give him another little break. We'll probably do just one more round and then I'll give him a, an actual break break. But he's he's been doing really good. Like I said, you can see in the beginning, um, he's going to 
follow his nose unless we give him direction. He's gonna still, you know, go after people if we don't help him out. Um, the gentlemen also like were really friendly and wanted obviously to engage with him. So when people are also enticing him, it's gonna be a lot harder, right? Uh, so. You try to go back there just making sure all his cars are coming but no he's doing really good so far let him run around a little bit getting to the end of the lead looks like another dog mark there too but yeah you can kind of see and that's for a good boy and you can see uh Especially in pet stores, it's going to be more enticing for him to mark just because other pups have. Luckily, in the store, we haven't had any accidents or anything, but it's just because uh, we kind of go in, go out, give him breaks, go in, go out. Um, eventually, he, he runs pretty dry, so even if he, he did want to, we can redirect him really quickly, either with his name or with the leash pressure. But the goal is to actually get him hopefully empty before going in. But that's usually pretty difficult to do with pups that mark because they always kind of hold some in reserve. So now he's actually a good boy. There you go. So just using the leash as a boundary because he wanted to keep going. Letting him recognize. Good boy. Come on. Here. Good boy. Wait. Here. Good boy. Very good. <laughs> All right, good job. So, you know, when he kind of gets on autopilot, you know, because we haven't given him directions for a while, he's so used to getting instructions, giving him some instructions and then just having him hold right making him focus for a while longer before giving him a reward or more instructions okay good boy all right free <laughs> he's doing pretty good though <laughs>